Okay, let's be exactly clear on what we're talking about here. I'm talking about opening a file that has password protection on the actual file itself. So an encrypted file that you cannot even open unless you have the password. If you can already open the spreadsheet and the password is on the actual sheets themselves or whatever, then I've got another video that shows you three good ways that you can crack those passwords. So have a look at the description, the links in there or probably on screen right now. How much is going to cost you? Right, the software I'm going to show you for Excel is $40. There is an alternative uh, software as well. So this one just cracks Excel files and it just uses your core processor. That kind of upgrade, if you like, software is this Office Password Recovery. This one uses your GPU as well. Now that can be very important. They're sort of saying something in the region of 10 times faster if you're using the GPU. Right, let's start cracking some file open passwords. So we'll start off by trying to use the Excel based software. So this is the uses just your core, G, uh, your core processor, but it's a lot cheaper. So a third of the price, in fact, of the um, kind of more advanced software that's on offer here. Right, to open up this software. Now I'm going to do my best to do a bit of a um, decent sort of review here but i'm not going to go through absolutely everything about this software because there's so many different options so the critical things um that i think that you probably want to know is uh what well, does it work well the answer is depends on the amount of time you've got to spend so in some and how much you know about the password Yes, it works. It's found a few passwords for me. You can see on screen here, it's found um, a couple of the passwords. I'd say, in summary, this one here with the random numbers and letters and you know percentage sign and things like that, unless you've got some clue about that password, forget it. You'll see why in a minute. Um, you, you, you're going to be, you know, your great, 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 great grandchildren will still be waiting for that to be cracked right let's start with an easy one then the dictionary attack right in it goes you can see it's already cracked this one you can use their attack scenarios so they've got like various ones here so this is this one i happen to know from running it many a time it's got about 185 million passwords it tries to use and it just goes goes through so it's um presumably based on their experience of the kind of passwords people use when I used that, it failed to find the password up for Excel, but it did find the password dictionary. Now, when I said failed to find the open for oh, up for Excel password, it ran, I ran it overnight for three nights running. Um, and actually, there's one great thing about this software, actually, and that is that um, you can hit this stop button at any time and then the play button and it'll just resume from where you, where you left off or it gives you the option to. So it's kind of handy because although it runs in the background and it's possible to do things like surf the web or something, what it's definitely not possible to do is run spreadsheets. Crikey, I mean, it makes your, your spreadsheets run like a total dog if you've got this one uh, trying to crack passwords in the background, you know, kind of forget it. You want to be pausing it if you want to do any kind of serious work on your computer and run it overnight. So yeah, effectively free free overnight runs to go through all 185 million passwords that it says it was going to try. Didn't find it at the end of it. So just bear that in mind. It's no, this is not a guarantee that that's going to work. Brute force, right? So just show you quickly brute force. So this one, you can say which types of characters you want to uh, use. So if we go up here, let's just clean up the screen a bit right so all lower all uppercase letters right and you can set your password length here so let's be a bit realistic about this right you're not going to have a one character long password that's ridiculous so let's go from four to eight now look at that straight away just capital letters 26 years for an eight 
a four to eight digit long password. And even if you know it definitely is eight, still doesn't make a lot of difference. 25 years, 200 and roughly 209 billion passwords to check. Um, yeah, you can see what I say, forget it. Add in small characters, you're now up to like six and a half thousand years. Add in some numbers, you know, like 27,000 years. Add in your special characters. Look at this, look, craziness, right? Imagine if you go up to 10, say you want to go to 10 um, character long passwords. Can't do it, next big bang. <laughs> A little comedy value in here, right? So how are you going to do this? Well, let's take off the specials. We're still at some sort of ludicrous amount of years. What do we know about it? Um, say you think the word password is somewhere in there. Uh, you could try sort of um, well, it starts with so it's definitely password. Then it's sort of uh, I don't know, like maybe try a three-digit number after the word password. Yeah, that's going to take 15 minutes, right? So not too bad. Yeah, so that's brute force attack. Uh, we then have just push the sort of play button here. Uh, brute force with extended mask. Now this gives you there's an entire. I'm not going to go through this, but there's an entire programming language where you can sort of set up things to say, you know, whether you want, like, you know, I want an uppercase character followed by, you know, four lowercase characters and symbols and stuff like that, where you can really get quite complex. The programming language incidentally is in the help file. So um, you can usage uh, macro language learn and it tells you what, what these things are. I'm not gonna use that, but it's there. Then what, you've also got a dictionary based attack. So you hit on next, right. So this is what we're gonna to use to find our word dictionary. So we're gonna check the word as it is, but you can have sort of some mutations, for example. So, you know, so as it is with their, what they call their small English dictionary, gonna take eight seconds, right? So let's just try that, right? Run it, okay. Ran, didn't find the password though. Right, let's try our dictionary attack again. This time though, medium sized dictionary. This one, one minute, 45 seconds. Right, so let's let that one go and see how we're gonna carry on. Now, one thing that I do notice about this software is it tends to check the passwords in alphabetical order. It's found it already, right? So it's found the password is dictionary. Now, when it finds a password, you can click on it and it copies it to the clipboard for you, which is kind of handy. And then, so we will then kind of, if we go in here, go to our open, so it's this one dictionary, open it up, ask for the password, control V to paste, click OK, and we're in, brilliant, right? So found that one relatively quickly, yeah? So that was pretty good. So what about up for Excel? Right, so I'm gonna click in that. Next, right. So I've actually done a previous experiment on this and tried to run this default attack for that password. It didn't find it, okay? So it took three days overnight didn't find it so i know that that is not not going to work and i think to be fair to them probably the reason it doesn't is because their dictionaries probably don't contain the word excel i think if that said something like up for sport or something like that it probably would find it um because you can see the types of passwords it it was checking as it was going along it sort of as it checks it sort of shows you sort of like every other password or whatever that it's checking or you know one per second that it happens to be looking at and you can tell you know that it would find that in fact i did actually think it would find it but it didn't so let's show you how to use the mask then so we've already said so we know it's got all those three in and we know there's seven characters long right so let's uh so from what i know about this password and i mean i write the password so i darn well know what it is it still says it's going to take 420 something years to find it, okay? So we're definitely going to need a mask, right? Now, imagine that we 
somehow we know what the first two characters are um, and we don't know the rest so we'll do one two three four five like that still saying it's going to take 40 days right it's really not good yeah so let's let's replace that with a four 15 hours that with a capital of e now down to 15 minutes Actually, we've got an extra character here, haven't we? Yeah, so we're 15 minutes, sorry, there. So you can see as I'm typing it past, right, 14 seconds if I've only got two, two characters missing. Now, the only reason that I think that might be slightly useful is for, you know, I used to have a password system where, you know, these passwords where they sort of say you have to use a different password every single month, like you might have at work or whatever. So if you're kind of rotating the last two digits, you have some kind of rotation system, um, but you just don't happen to know, you know, it could be anywhere from like, you know, zero, zero to 99 or something, or even a three digit one on the end. Um, this will work pretty well. And it will, it's guaranteed to find that um, because it's just like running through every single thing. And also, especially if you know that's just a number, you can take those two off, look, and it's gonna take three seconds. That's just too simple for it. That's all lowercase letters actually. One minute, six seconds, great. Right, let's run that, see what happens. So you can see going, you can see it's sort of showing you some random, this isn't every single one it's trying, but yeah, they go up for itself, found it. Next attack, this really difficult one here, right? Sorry, let's move that over there. Um, this extract data, by the way, I don't think it's necessary doesn't seem to do anything different now that you could say well let's run a default attack on it but I happen to know that all default attacks take three days it's not <laughs> I mean I suppose it's worth a try but it's certainly no guarantee of it finding the password um, this is one we know it's not a dictionary we'd have to use a brute force um, we've got to use everything we're using special characters um, you know, we've got no idea what the length is, so we'd have to go like one to maybe, let's do, you know, you just can't do it, basically. You can't do it. Never going to work. Uh, you'd need to know for a fact, I would say, that you've only, you're have only you only looking for a uh, four-digit password if, you, if you've got no idea about the password and you think it's got special characters in it. Best you could hope for is a four-digit one, really. The moment you go up to five, it's saying it's going to take a year to find it. It just so happens this password starts with an A. So it probably wouldn't take a year. It'd take one, you know, one twenty-sixth of a year. But that is a long time. That's what two weeks solid. Um, and that's because it starts with an A and I happen to know it runs through an alphabetical order. Okay, now that's all been tried actually on the one without the GPU. So if we actually put the same password. And this other software, by the way, is, works in exactly the same way. I'm going to chuck this on. I'm going to use the brute force. I'm going to put it to all the same settings here. So this is the sort of speed difference that you might be looking at if you were to invest the additional money in the office-based version rather than the purely just Excel-based version. So brute force attack, all the same settings. This one one year and 10 days this one 81 days so what's that probably five times faster that sort of order of magnitude there um, well in fact you can see the sort of speed it's suggesting that it's going to be able to run at now i still think that's way too long you know especially as it's only five digits you know you're not gonna you're still realistically not going to be able to check anything up seven digit ones you know you, you're long since 21 years you might still be alive whether you want to get into the file or not by then it's a different story isn't it right so anyway file open passwords unfortunately there's no guarantee you're going to get into these things but you know if you know a bit about the password you stand a way way better chance and if it's dictionary um you're straight in really links to all this software is in the description so have a look if you're interested go in and have a look but there are various other things that this software can do that it can do instantly so let's try it on some other types of passwords next 
Now, even though I've got another video that shows you how to remove sheet protection completely for free, and it got three different ways on that video, this software is actually remarkably quick. So for 40 US dollars, depending on what you consider your hourly rate to be, you might want to still invest in this to remove sheet passwords because it does it instantly. So fire up the software, drag that. This is a sheet protected password. I mean, look at the password I've used here. I mean, it's a really, really tricky, very long, special symbols, everything. You know, it's the kind of thing that it would say would take to the next big bang to actually crack if it was a file open password. I've dropped it in, hit this, remove all passwords. Right, it tells me it's done it, hit save. That's it, simple as that, right? Want some proof? Here, here it is. If I try and type, it says I can't do it. It's password protected, right? So that's the original. Close that, open up the one it says it's unlocked. It's unlocked it. Doesn't tell you what the password is. Definitely unlocked though. So that is completely instant. And that's just on the Excel version. Obviously the Office version will do the same, but it's gonna cost you more. You know, it probably would do it faster, but crikey, it was instant anyway. Other types of things it can remove are the VBA project password. So again, let's just chuck in a really complicated one or the most complicated one I've set up. Again, instantly, can be removed instantly, remove all the passwords, remove it. it says it's unlocked, save it. Let's do some proof again. So I'll open this up. Oh, F11 for the VBA editor. Wants a password. Okay, let's now open up, sorry, the one that says it's unlocked. Uh, let's just enable that macro there, but straight in, look, straight in. Um, here's the code. You just, uh, yeah, no problem. Now, that actually, is probably worth a bit of time investment because those passwords to crack you're going to need software anyway um now you can do it with a hex editor and you can get hex editors for free but of course this software will do it instantly so it might take you like a quarter of an hour or whatever to do it via a hex editor so you want to save yourself a quarter of an hour for 40 dollars or if you need to do it often as well and of course the great thing about this probably shouldn't say it but I will is that if you buy some commercial spreadsheets um, you can go in and have a look at you know you can use this tool you can go in you can have a you know glance around their code you know maybe pick up a few coding tips see how things are working maybe you know kind of edit a few things you don't like about the code if you're feeling super confident all kind of handy or just you know just copy and paste a bit of code around into your own projects and of course somebody's now going to do that on on the files I sell probably but whatever um, yeah so good for that so that's it full review of accent Excel password recovery and accent office password recovery software all links in the description far better if you know quite a lot about your password already in which case I would recommend it I don't think you're going to find any software that's significantly faster than this. The fact that it's got GPU acceleration is great in my book. And the other great feature is that you can like pause it at any time. So if you've got something that thinks it's going to take three days to crack, and their standard process does take about three days to crack, um, then yeah, just run it overnight, three days running, and see how you get on. Use at your discretion. See you soon.